update and and talk about the plow truck we took it into the shop and did a whole bunch of service we changed all the fluids went through the differentials the transmission changed the motor oil um, topped off the hydraulic fluid in the in the plow up front um, it, it needed it 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 kind of been sitting all summer it didn't get a whole lot of use um, I hauled fuel in it a few times and tried to drive around thinking that that would kind of keep it um, uh, keep it in better shape than just leaving it parked all all summer. Um, what else did we do? Uh, I think that was it. Uh, we had we had an ignition problem, and come to find out that we just had the the ignition wire um, underneath the steering wheel had gotten kicked loose with a boot or something. I I don't know if I I hit it or I had something that that. Um, messed it up but we got that fixed and now it's running great and I don't know that it's sounded this good in a long time but we're we're ready for winter so far here we are um, it's Christmas time and not a whole lot of snow we've maybe had two or three inches total uh, but most of it has melted off and which hasn't been the worst but Ski resorts hurting, and uh, it's kind of been a soft, soft winter so far here in North Idaho. I'm not complaining. Uh, last year was crazy. I, it, I was kind of surprised that winter showed up uh, kind of at the end, kind of uh, February, March. We got a whole bunch of snow, and it really piled up. Um, I think I'd rather spread it out over the, over the the whole season as opposed to get it all at once but whatever mother mother nature's in charge we'll just try and get ready for for whatever comes our way uh, the plan for this truck is I need to fix some of the lights I've got lighting problems out here I've got one headlight that works when the headlights are on I've got one plow light that works when the plow lights are on um, this plow setup has been around for 20 25 years uh, and it's just the wiring has gotten wet there's there's rust issues uh, bulbs have burned out those types of things so um, it just it needs maintenance um, one of the things I would really like to, to look at is putting a light bar up on top I think the light bar would give us you know a wider field of view it seems like when I'm plowing I feel like I'm, I'm looking down a tunnel and if I had that light bar up on top um, I'd even like a light bar that was looking behind me so that when I'm backing up after plowing into a pile or whatever that I have tons of light behind me to see what's going on but I'm kind of curious I haven't used those light bars in the past and I wonder if it's snowing and there's a lot of snow um, are they going to pack in with snow? Are they going to be reflective off of the snow that's maybe falling? And maybe, maybe I want a yellow light versus a white light. Um, so there's, there's some, some study, some research, uh, trolling the internet, reading the forums, uh, trying to figure out exactly what might be best. But I've got to get more light on the truck. Um, the other thing is... I'm thinking about going in and studying the tires. Uh, these it has new tires, but the tires haven't been studded, and I think that studying the tires would would be uh, a world of difference on the ice and the snow. So I need, I'm, we're going to work on that as well. So these are just some of the some of the things that we're going to be working on through the winter to tr try and keep the roads open and snow plowed. Um, I, I, I've really committed to keeping the roads open in the development subdivision area so that people coming to visit, uh, other people that have, have purchased property in here have got access and keep it open and available. Um, so far it's been easy but I think that as we go along we get more snow as things start to build up it's going to get more and more difficult. So we'll 
we'll see how it goes. So the other day when I had that electrical problem with this truck, um, couldn't get it started, um, I was able to jump it, but once we were able to get it into the shop and they were able to retrace the wires and figure out that we had a wire that wasn't connected underneath the steering wheel. Um, I don't know that I would have ever found that in a hundred years, so I was grateful to the guys at the shop that were able to kind of reroute and trace things with their f fancy tools. but. Um, they got that got that fixed for us. The other thing is we got um, s some new components um, that we were I'm not sure exactly what we needed but we had some issues they got that fixed um, I've always been a really big fan of these 350, 351 size gas motors they're super easy to work on super easy to take care of there's lots of room in here um, I, I grew up as as a Chevy fan but as I've gotten older I I love the Fords this snowplow truck kind of came as a package deal and I've really been happy with this this Ford and the gas motor this thing is a 1985 four-wheel drive 2500 and it's it's got some quirks about it but Everything has been really easy to fix, and more importantly, it's been really inexpensive to fix. No, no expensive parts. So for a plow truck, which is going to get beat up, um, there's just something about plowing snow, putting the plow on the front that just seems to beat on on a, a truck. So um, I I have no doubt that there will be other issues and other things that are going to come along, but. I don't think I would rather have any other vehicle for plowing snow than this Ford. Um, I mean, I have my complaints. I think that this thing gets horrible gas mileage in four-wheel drive running around plowing snow. It seems like I'm always filling up. But as far as repairs and maintenance and oil changes and everything else, it's been really affordable. So if you're looking around for a plow truck, uh, a mid-80s four-wheel drive would be my recommendation as a good place to start bang for the buck for having a plow truck for pushing snow on your property wherever that might be you know one of the issues with keeping things open out here and plowing snow all winter is it, it leaves the place open to anybody and i wonder if there's people out here doing stuff maybe they shouldn't be doing or you know i worry about theft or vandalism um, 
but is it worth leaving the road open for the few that are supposed to be here it, and also leaving it open to who knows kids that are out here partying or, or screwing around or doing other stuff you know I'll see tracks in the snow um, but I, I've, I've often wondered what else goes on out here when I'm not around or it's funny when you see stuff like this and you wonder uh, I mean it's one thing to have a good time it's another thing to leave your trash laying around for somebody else to have to clean up so I don't know that's the conundrum am I better to keep it plowed but lock the gate and just leave a code to people that that own property in here so they can come out when they want to or is it easier just to leave it open to everybody I don't know this is this is one of those things that I really struggle with I'm not sure what the right thing to do is but it looks like I'm gonna be cleaning up a mess the question I have is should I lock the gate and keep keep things locked up maybe put a put a padlock on here with a combination and then property owners could get in here as they needed to so if we lock this place up then maybe we wouldn't get people in here that weren't supposed to be here I think that I think that most people are pretty good about personal property rights meaning it's somebody else's and I'm not gonna touch it um, you know most people are good hey that's somebody else's car I'm not gonna get in somebody else's car without their permission but there are some people that out of curiosity or ignorance um, think that they can do what they want with other people's property help themselves anytime they want or make a mess um, so I don't know I don't I'm not sure the problem I've got is if I close up the gates and I start plowing snow uh, I won't be able to, to open and close them it, it's gonna become kind of a problem as the snow gets deeper so I think I think for now we'll just leave the gates open and kind of monitor it and see how things go we'll talk to some of the property owners and see what what they think especially as we start getting into construction in the spring and start building houses and doing other things in here we may want to start and lock this up especially at night um, so that stuff doesn't start to disappear so those are some of the some of the thoughts that I've got and I'm wondering kind of how to work through that and we'll we'll see how that goes over the you know as the, the months to come we'll we'll get this figured out see what the landowners want to do and maybe maybe come spring start locking it up Thank you.